Hi everyone, welcome to CodeVenture Pro. In today's video, we're going to talk about a very important topic for app developers, causes of termination of Google Play Console accounts and how to avoid them. If you're developing apps or planning to, this is a must watch. Let's dive in. The first and foremost reason your Google Play Console account might be terminated is due to policy violations. Google has strict guidelines, and if you fail to comply with these, your account could be at risk. Common violations include misleading content, inappropriate content, and violations related to privacy policies. Always ensure that your app adheres to Google's policies. Keep yourself updated with the latest changes in Google's policies by regularly reviewing the Developer Policy Center. Section 2, Low Value Apps. Next, let's talk about apps that do not provide any value to users. Google wants to maintain a high standard of apps on its platform. If your app is considered spammy, low quality, or does not provide a meaningful experience, it might be removed. Examples include apps with excessive ads, poorly designed apps, or apps that simply replicate existing functionalities without any improvement or unique value. Section 3, Uploading Harmful Apps. Uploading harmful apps is another major reason for account termination. This includes apps containing malware, spyware, or any other malicious code. Google has advanced detection systems, and even if the harmful code is hidden, it's likely to be detected. The best practice here is to avoid using third-party libraries or code snippets that you don't fully understand. Section 4, Crashing Apps. An app that frequently crashes is not only a poor experience for users, but also a red flag for Google. If your app has a high crash rate, it's considered unstable and could lead to account warnings or terminations. To avoid this, thoroughly test your app before publishing it. Make use of Google's pre-launch report and consider implementing Firebase Crashlytics to monitor and fix crashes. Section 5, Reuploading Terminated Apps. Reuploading an app that was previously terminated under another console account is a big no-no. If an app has been removed for policy violations or other reasons, re-uploading it under a different account won't bypass the issue. Google will track this, and it could result in the termination of the new account as well. Always address the underlying issues before considering re-uploading an app. Section 6, Copyright Issues. Copyright violations are another common cause of account termination. This includes issues with your app's icon, description, and title. Using copyrighted material without permission can lead to takedown requests and, ultimately, account termination. Always ensure that your app's visual and textual content is original or properly licensed. If you're using third-party content, make sure you have the appropriate rights or permissions. Section 7. Creating a new account after termination. Creating a new Google Play Console account after a previous account has been, been terminated is strictly against Google's policies. If Google detects this, it will terminate the new account as well. Instead of trying to bypass the system, focus on resolving the issues that led to the termination of your previous account. Section 8, Harmful User Experience. Lastly, uploading an app that provides a harmful user experience is another surefire way to get your account terminated. This includes apps that trick users, contain misleading content, or perform actions that users did not consent to. Always prioritize user trust and safety in your app design and functionality. Section 9, Solutions. Now that we've covered the main reasons for termination, let's talk about solutions. The best way to protect your Google Play Console account is by following these best practices. 1. Thoroughly read and understand Google's developer policy. 2. Test your app extensively before release. 3. Avoid using third-party code or assets without fully understanding them. 4. Stay updated with any policy changes. 5. If your app is removed, carefully review the reasons, make the necessary changes, and only then consider re-uploading it. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Um, by maintaining high standards and adhering to Google's guidelines, you can avoid the headache of account termination. And that's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.